Singapore in Southeast Asia has a very unique and interesting history as a country. Right now, Singapore is an island state. Island state because it used to be an island which was part of Malaysia as we know the country today. However, the history of Singapore uh, is somewhat checkered in the sense that there was discrimination against the Chinese uh, during the early days of Malaysia and the Malaysian Chinese uh, decided to leave the Malaysian state and form their own country as a separate island state. So right now, Singapore lies next to Malaysia and they are separated by a bridge. Now, Singapore struggled during the early going as an independent country. And of course, most people know Lee Kuan Yew, uh, who is considered the father of Singapore. He was responsible for building up Singapore to what we see the island state right now. To a large extent, Singapore can be compared to Hong Kong in the sense that uh, both of them have small populations. Uh, Hong Kong has a population of about 8 million, while Singapore has a population of 5 million. They had been competing against each other in terms of economic stature and prestige in Asia. The competition was very stiff uh, in the past so many years uh, because of their race for supremacy or not really supremacy but leadership in terms of financial services in terms of the robustness of their economies, uh, in terms of the robustness of their export sectors. So right now, both places uh, have robust economies and um, both places, I mean, have attracted a significant number of foreign companies, investors uh, mainly. However, the difference uh, lies in the fact, I mean, that while Singapore is an independent country, although it used to be part of Malaysia, Hong Kong remains part of China. Hong Kong remains one of the cities in China. While in the case of Singapore, it is very prosperous on its own after gaining its independence from Malaysia. And at the moment, Singapore hosts uh, about uh, 200 to 300,000 Filipinos comprised of more than 100,000 domestic helpers and the rest are professionals comprised of uh, engineers, computer professionals, uh, finance executives, entrepreneurs, bankers, and other uh, professions, uh, mostly so-called white-collar in the sense that they are office workers. So Singapore, I mean, as you will see in this video, is uh, comprised of mostly high-rise buildings uh, used mainly for office and commercial purposes. But at the same time, it has low-cost or I mean uh, low-rise buildings uh, used for residential purposes. To a large extent, Singapore enjoys the prestige of having excellent uh, town planning, meaning uh, its development is well considered, well planned, although it's a small city, uh, city-state. So unlike uh, other cities in Asia, 
Singapore enjoys I mean, a big edge in terms of modernity, in terms of city planning, and in terms of services, lots of services being provided by the government to its citizens. So, Singapore is uh, considered by many as an ideal place uh, to live because uh, the government uh, practices good governance. Uh, the civil service is largely free of corruption, which is endemic in other places uh, like uh, the Philippines and even Indonesia and to a certain extent Malaysia. So this stature or, uh, has enabled the um, government of Singapore uh, to provide high quality services to its residents, whether they are native Singaporeans or whether they are foreigners from different countries who have decided to come to Singapore to work and live there. So, Singapore is uh, one of the prime destinations in Asia for business and for leisure. Uh, while it is a favorite among lots of tourists uh, who travel to the region, to the Asia-Pacific region, from the West or from other Asian countries, there is I mean, a bit of downside if you'll, if you'll visit uh, this city-state, I mean, as a tourist, the cost of living is quite high compared to other cities in Asia, uh, just like Manila or Taipei or Bangkok. Uh, the cost of living is comparable to that of Hong Kong, and prices of commodities or consumer goods are not exactly cheap, uh, relative to those, I mean, in Bangkok or Taipei uh, or Manila. Uh, but still, um, visiting Singapore can be a great experience in the sense, I mean, that uh, you get to see and experience visiting a first world country or city uh, compared to uh, most cities I mean, in Asia, especially those in developing countries uh, like the Philippines, Malaysia, Thailand, and Indonesia. It's a very modern city and the city is very clean uh, because of uh, the high level or the good management uh, of the environment uh, and the uh, policies of the Singaporean government uh, tend to be more progressive, more advanced uh, compared to its neighbors. So in a sense, uh, Singapore is a great destination not only for business but also for leisure. But uh, people coming from developing countries like the Philippines, I mean, uh, have to brace for uh, the higher cost of food, um, consumer uh, durables, clothes, and other things uh, that uh, tourists uh, normally buy whenever they do their shopping. So for people who would like to uh, tour or uh, visit I mean, as tourists uh, different cities in Asia may well consider or should consider including Singapore uh, in their list of uh, destinations in the region especially because it has it's a distinct attractions and distinctions uh, from other cities. And a bit of color in its history, Singapore used to be a colony of uh, the UK or United Kingdom 
So there are a number of buildings uh, which uh, display uh, architecture typically seen in the West. And uh, some of the historical buildings had been preserved for historical and uh, tourist attraction purposes. So it's not just modern shopping malls and office buildings that uh, tourists I mean, uh, get to see, uh, but uh, attractions uh, to, for the visitors include historical buildings which had, which had been preserved uh, for their historical value as well as their ability to attract I mean, visitors uh, to the city. So if you're looking for places to visit in the region, uh, you might as well consider Singapore in your list of destinations aside of course from popular uh, tourist destinations like Bangkok uh, which has a very exotic interesting culture and Manila which also uh, offers a rich heritage, a heritage uh, of mixed Spanish and American cultures and other cities in the region. So since uh, Singapore is um, predominantly comprised of uh, people with Chinese ancestry, you can well expect a lot of Chinese restaurants uh, with uh, a dash or a mix of Asian cuisine like laksa is popular is a popular uh, dish I mean in Singapore and uh, you can easily um, order this kind of dish I mean in most restaurants in the island state And of course, aside from a food or the rich cuisine of Singapore with a heavy dose of Chinese, um, uh, you can also explore other types of typically Singaporean cuisine.